Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It used to be like this. The free world would provide you know, more freedoms to their citizens, and they will be freer, right? Because it was the free world. And you had the not-so-free world, like Russia, China, Iran, and others, like the Western, uh, like an Eastern Bloc, let's put it in the Soviet uh, time, Soviet Union time, uh, those were not free because the citizens were limited from knowing, having access to information, travel. There were more and more limitation in, in limitations imposed by their leaders, the guys in charge of them. So that was obviously tyrannical and it was stupid. But well, it seems like, unfortunately, the Western countries, which were the part of the free world, swapped with the other side. It seems like they are now more inclined to censor, more inclined to prevent their citizens uh, to access information, news media, uh, maybe books, banned all kind of things, access, censorship, whereas the Eastern Europeans seem more prone nowadays to have more freedom after the stress, after the tyrannical times of the communists brought upon them by the guys in charge of the Soviet Union, which were Lenin, Trotsky, Stalin, Kaganovich, and the kind. So, those were the Soviets, all right? Mm, all right, so not Brezhnev and Andropov and uh, one Gorbachev or what's his name, the other one, uh, Nikita Khrushchev, and I missed one more. But anyway, it was Brezhnev, Andropov, and another one. It was like three, pam, 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 and then. Anyway, not that, n not those, not, no, not by those. It was brought in by others, by the non-Russians. Okay, what's going on now? You know, the Western countries, the leaders, supposedly, our leaders, prevent us from hearing whatever we want to hear as adults. I don't think anybody should be in charge of me as an adult, as a free human being in whatever I want to, for instance, uh, listen to as politics. I should be allowed to listen to whomever I want. I mean, remember that guy Manson, right? Remember? Not the singer, Marilyn Manson, whatever. Okay. The guy who killed the Brotherhood, uh, Helter Skelter, whatever. Remember that guy? He was featured on TV. He was interviewed numerous times, Charles Manson. He was um, uh, uh, interviewed numerous times. And not only, many other criminals, serial cr criminals. People want to hear what's going on. But somehow we cannot listen to or hear what, let's say, Putin has to say. Or King Jong Un. Or, let's say, Raisi, who's dead now. But I hope Ahmadinejad takes place. Why is that? I should be allowed as a free person to do that. Well, look at the Russians. I'm not for Russians, but I can't ignore when these guys provide more freedom than provide our leaders in the free world. In Europe, there are certain news media outlets, the Russian media outlets, banned, legally banned. So let's say I'm a German, I can't access, let's say, uh, Russia Today or, for instance, uh, Ria Novosti or uh, a few others that I can't. I can't. The government, some other human beings are in charge of what I'm allowed to listen to. Other human beings, not better than me, other not with more rights. They decided that I should not listen to that, to protect the baboons. Now, what's going on? You know, it's the uh, St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Right now, it's in full swing. It's the first day that it started over there. A lot of people are over there. I don't know, about thousands of people, 17,000 people over there, in, invitees and attendees and so on. More than Davos and other garbage so-called economic forums. Now, Russia allows, allows news agencies from unfriendly states to be present at Putin's spiff discussion. That's what the Kremlin says. So they said, come over. We're not afraid of you. On the contrary, we want you, you, we want you to be here to tell your baboons that you keep them in a cloud of fart, not to hear about what's going on here. It's going to be a total silence, or the, the silence will be turned into negative and negative, negative. What's going on in St. Petersburg? The world is spinning with or without Russia, with or without United States of America and the West. The problem is you got some narcissistic countries that think that without them, the world will just come to a stop. 
that's a imbecilic uh, worldview. So they are allow these guys to, the world goes on. I think it was 140 countries are invited and participate, not invited, participate in this forum. 140 countries, one uh, out of 193, 94. Why? Because the 40, 40, 40 some countries that do not come are the guys that isolate themselves from the Russians. The guys, the vassal states who are told not to participate. Some of them probably participate, like for instance, Hungary participates. Peter Giardo, uh, the foreign minister, the brave, smart, ballsy prime, uh, prime minister, foreign minister of Hungary, which I like very, very much. He said, the West cannot stop me from participating. That's an article right there. Let me read you this little article where news agencies from unfriendly states to be present at Putin's beef discussion. They allow them to show up over there. I don't know if they will allow Russia Today and Sputnik, let's say in Germany or in the United States of America or London, whatever. London, Great Britain, England. <laughs> so, Russian President Vladimir Putin will have any informative, will have an informative conversation with the heads of major international news agencies at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on Wednesday and representatives of unfriendly countries will participate, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said. I'm quoting. There will be agencies also from unfriendly countries, the world's largest agencies and also official government agencies of friendly countries or even partner states. This will be, as always, a free conversation with no limited agenda and will be open. You will be able to watch the broadcast and report online, Peskov said. Now, I love that more, more than my leaders allow me. Uh, the SPIF 2024 takes place from June 5, yesterday, until June 8th in St. Petersburg, Russia. What do you want, my friends? What do you want? I admire that. I admire that. And those guys are the bad dudes. I mean, even if you can spin it however you want, you can keep your head in the sand how much you want. I think that's a positive thing. Positive thing. But what do you think will happen? These guys will not cover it. Or if you're going to cover it, we're going to cover it. Putin comes over there like a tyrant to show his thing. Blah, 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 blah. I've seen this before, so it's not the first time. Just saying. Just saying. It seems like those guys are taking what we are losing. They have the resources, they have the manpower, they have the culture, they have the tradition, they have the weapons, they have a vast land, not enough people in Russia, so what do you think could happen? That could be the West, or Western civilization if you want, whatever that is, European, let's put it, European civilization. Could move to Russia and the Western Europe could have garbage. It's gonna descend into the baboonish, make-believe, uh, self-identification -identif garbage. Equity, diversity, inclusion, and all that will destroy us, will destroy us. But who wants to destroy us? Uh, someone from outside. Someone who has a very, very big, big, big inferiority complex towards the ancient Egypt, uh, Babylon, and so on. You can guess, the Mesopotamia, and so on. The guys who were just, uh, how do you call it, herders, shepherds, or herds, illiterate. And they dislike everything around and they were the victim all the time. And they come in, you allow them to come in, and then they take a shit on everything you got because they don't like it, because it's superior and it's better. So maybe Russia will become, I don't know, uh, the, what the Muslim countries or Arab countries became in the what, in the 7th, 8th, 9th century, when they took the, the European, the ancient Greek philosophy and all that mathematics, and they pushed it further. And then it came back through it, Italy, through, uh, through Spain, remember, with their, with their universities, Cordoba and blah, blah, blah. They did it. And then the Europeans woke up from their jerk off the dark ages, the Western European, not the Eastern. The Eastern Europeans were over there. The Western Europeans were in the dark ages, not the Eastern Europeans. Anyway, I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about uh, obviously Byzantium, uh, Eastern Roman Empire. And then they brought back and then they had their uh, Renaissance again. Fantastic. But now it goes back, why? Because you allow that garbage and that garbage is in among us and they're gonna take a shit on us. And after that, they will try to move back to Russia. Why do you think uh, they love Russia so much? Because they got 
kicked out of their Soviet high positions, Soviet high positions, and they were kicked to the left, right, and they left to London, New York, and other locations that cannot be so obvious. That's why they love Putin so much, because he kicked them out. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.